The blood of Jesus Christ. I rebuke you, works of darkness. I rebuke you, agents of darkness. I rebuke you, you cancer worms of darkness. I tell you this point. And today you cross my territory. I tell you. I tell you. <laughs> it is strange that the devil goes around like a rolling lion looking for whom to destroy. Whom have you found this time to destroy? You agents of darkness. Don't worry. I am the one whom God has sent to change the works of darkness in this land. I shall never succumb to the works of darkness. We shall never succumb to the works of darkness. We move forward. Brother Christ, what happened last night? My sister, you have seen it. That is what is existing. You have seen it. <laughs> you know, in the realms of demology, the winch exists on their own wings and they have their own missions all together. They are not up to the principalities and powers, but they are errands to them. The winch you saw last night is on a mission. It's not like in this world where people live anyhow they want to live, do anyhow they want to do. I mean the physical realm, in the spiritual realm, each being exists for a particular purpose. There must be an essence for the existence of a being, either an angel or a demon that is on an assignment. There must be a purpose. They don't they don't they don't appear or do anything anyhow. All their movement is strategized. Now coming to what we saw last night, that woman. She's not a woman, but let me use the feminine for feminism to classify her. Her essence of appearing last night is to captivate souls she doesn't she doesn't exist or she doesn't walk anyhow what she does is if she sees a soul like you are now you have a star you have a gift you are potential you have a lot of things to impact or you have a lot of impact to make on this life what she will do is to come and captivate your soul when she captivates your soul she makes sure she bondage it very well you know the the demons especially which associate with death she places a lot of death in you that you cannot escape from it apart from god's mercy and grace you need god's grace and mercy to be saved from her bondage so that's what she does she's just on an errand to captivate souls for devil not by your will or on her own will so far as you are not encrypted with christ so far as you are not as in you are not in the same path with god she sees it as a double advantage she understand so that's her existence Have you been you were not there you would have run away. <laughs> run away? Yes. <laughs> Why would you run away? I'm so scared. Ordinary winch. Ha. If you now see the ones that are higher, 
when you encounter the prince of persia shiva and the queen of coast and the rest of them <laughs> what will you do <laughs> no what will you do you don't have to be afraid are you hearing me you don't have to be afraid for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through the power and grace of god you don't have to be afraid are you hearing me? You don't have to be afraid. God is with you. For you to have seen it, you know it's not a, a physical thing like you take it. It's special. Yes. For you to have seen it shows that you are upgrading in the spiritual realm. You are upgrading. And you know our mission on this community? Our mission here, in case you have forgotten, is to deliver, liberate, and set the captive free. Free. That is our mission here. On and God who sent us to this community will never allow the devil get us. So far as we align our ways with him, so far as we keep our paths with him, so far as we make sure that we are in tune with him, he will not let us go empty-handed. He will not let us be put to shame. Like she said that others went shamefully. It is never going to be a portion. Amen. It is never going to be a portion. Amen. Guide your heart. Be prayerful. The Bible says, 10,000 shall fall at us. 1,000 shall fall at your right hand side. 10,000 at your left hand side. But they shall not come near you because of the Lord is with you. Amen. That is his word. He said in 9 Psalms 91. Amen. That we are the priesthood of Christ. So hold it as if an authority to you unto, unto your soul that you are a priesthood of Christ a chosen generation yes. God's own people that you will never be put to shame yes. pray and always guide your heart and your thoughts God will see your shoe Amen. God will see your shoe Amen. definitely Amen. God will see us shoe Amen.